Hi guys, welcome to GIS Explorer YouTube channel. It is best integrated GIS channel. I am Orun, GIS expert. If you first time in our channel, then subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get our latest uploaded information about GIS. Today, I would like to tell you how to create and edit polygon features in QGIS 3.14. Not only that, I will discuss you also the activities of the advanced digitizing toolbar. If you like to learn more about QGIS, then check my other video. Before starting this video, I would like to tell you more about the polygon. Polygon is a features which is a closed safe defined by a series connected line. It is content both length information and area information. It is most important video for digitization in QGIS. So I think you must be concentrated in this video. So let's go in the learning section of this video. First of all, open QGIS software and then what we'll do? I add a base layer. This is Google satellite base layer, which is already I customize here. Up next video, I will show you how to customize base layer like uh, Google satellite, Google road maps, level, etc. Now just add this layer, Google satellite. and find your interested area so i select uh, this short lake area now what we'll do you have to go layer menu and then create layer and then new shape layer browse your destination folder and choose the choose your destination folder and give a name suitable name polyline then save then file encoding utf8 and geometry should be polygon and select crs from here choose any one it is depend up to you i choose this projection WGS 84 UTM zone 45N and then OK. Here, see you can create attribute table field from here. So I named here polygon name. type should be text data you can change length from here then hidden add to field list so you can either create the columns in the beginning or we can add them after so don't be afraid if you have missed something input all the information 
just click on OK button and see here sorry this is a name should be polygon so I renamed here polygon you can change uh, the symbology from here just right click go to properties and choose your style any style and then apply and then ok so guys what we will do now I create a features polygon features so you have to go on this tool toggle editing tool and then click on add polygon tools and go your desired location and input ID also name then ok same way you can create another polygon features keep it mind that before starting to create another features you have to go enable snapping tool and choose your allow overlap or avoid overlap on active layers so I choose this one avoid overlap on active layers and just I click on this polygon and just click here and right click input your attribute field id2 name bb and then ok so guys see here this is the adjacent area which is already already adjacent both lines of the polygons and uh, trace each other before starting the advanced digitizing tool activities I check out my base layer Google satellite imagery for better visualization I have already discussed in the before's video copy cut paste undo redo and uh, enable advanced digitizing tools activity so I discuss you remaining tools activities so what we will do now at first I show you snapping tool I mean uh, vertex tool just click on vertex if you want to any vertex if you want to add any vertex then just see, click on the features and double click see here if you want to delete this vertex just click on the vertex and hit on backspace button if you want to edit the vertex just click on vertex and 
edit your interested zone see here just click on the vertex and click another position where you want to work edit if you modify of the attribute table then you have to select any features line polygon features and go to modify the attribute of selected features and you can change from here all the attribute all the selected attribute three cc then okay next uh, see here this is the move features if you want to move any features then click on this tool and click on the features and moved anywhere then if you want to rotate any features then click on rotate features tool and select any polygon and type here and then enter this is the simplify features tool which is used for simplify any features just see here click on the simplify features and click on any features and see here when you click on the features then you will get a wizard here different type option like method you can choose any one from here and uh, you can also input offset percentage just see this is the editing tool before starting this editing tool activities i change the symbology for better visualization then you have to click on add ring tool and where you want to add ring digitize here and at the end right click see if you want to delete add ring then you have to click on delete ring tool and click on add ring features this is the add part features if you add any features at any part of the features then you have to click on this tool and digitize here If you want to delete the add part of these features, just click on delete part tool and click on the part of the features. If you want to receive any features, then you have to click on the reset features. So I click on reset features and I want to receive 
of these features so just click in the receive tool receive features and digitize here yeah, that's like and at the end right click this is the offset curve tool if you want to any features create a offset curve then you have to click on this tool and click on the features and see here this is the changes of the features after the creating offset if you want to split the features then you have to click on this split features tool and select your features which is you want to split and then at last right click on this end so see here this is a features and another features here if you want to split of the features split part of the features then you have to select any features and then click on split part and just click and digitize one the feature selected features and right click on the end just see here this is the one features but here is two part this is a one part and another is here and uh, this is the march selected features tool if you want to any uh, march features then you have to click on this feet march tool so at first uh, select the features all features and then you have to click on this march tool selected tool and choose any one attribute which is you getting final and click on this tab and then ok If you want same attribute of different features then you have to select all features and go to merge attribute to selected features tool and select any one attribute which is your final attribute and then click on take attribute from selected features and then ok so just see here same attribute so guys that's all for you today further you have any query please comment in my comment section i hope that uh, you get mileage in this video so please make sure you like and subscribe my gis explorer youtube channel and share the video on social media thank you for watching